All right, it's January 18th, 2020. We're back out here again with some more paintings and see what happens. I don't know if anyone's gonna join us, but I worked really hard to get out here. This is my therapy. Sunset Boulevard Art Therapy. That's it today, thanks. Okay, here's the first collection of paintings today. Uh, the one on the far left is called Tapestry. Tapestry. And the one on the bottom center is called Basket Face. Basket Face. And I painted that entirely with a sponge brush. And the one on the right is called After the Bandages. After the Bandages. And then on the top row, the one on the left is called The Decision. And it's a highly abstracted map of driving decisions. And the one on the right is called Waiting for the Sun. And it's a highly stylized version of the desert, Waiting for the Sun. Okay, these are two fun ones, because they're kind of assembly art. The one on the right was actually painted by Nolan Fanzler. And we traded it, and then I thought of the idea of adding the rose to it. I asked him, and there it is, and I call that the lover the lover. And the one on the left is called the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And that's actually a painter's rag from an artist down in Venice Beach. And if you lift it, there you see what's behind it. And that's kind of fun. It's an interactive art piece. And that's actually a 3D holographic skull painting and that's the man behind the curtain okay these three paintings I rescued they're unsigned the first one I saw at Goodwill and I was astonished it's so good I had to buy it the guy did a great job just the idea and the rendering of it fantastic and the thing I like about and then at a later time I found each of the other two and it looks like one is oils and one might be acrylic I don't know or the one on the left has another finished coating on it but these three make a great set they're done by the same guy I got them all at Goodwill at different times but not signed no idea who it is and the interesting thing is each one has an impossible dice somewhere in the painting. And that's kind of fun to see the impossible dice. On the one on the left, it's the one on the bottom with the four and the three. And the one in the, on the right, it's the dice in the center with the one and the six. And then obviously in the painting in the center, it's the dice face that has nine dots on it. And you don't even really realize it. So that's a lot of fun. And these were three rescued paintings. Here's a nice grouping. The flowers, I probably painted those 25 years ago. They're painted on uh, a masonite or something uh, with a palette knife. That's oils painted with a palette knife. And I really still like it. The other two paintings, I found the paintings in the dumpster. I found four of them. Those are two. And those two actually fit together. And then I added the skull stickers and the other stickers and framed them. Uh, but those are interactive found paintings. They're found, someone threw them out. They're unsigned. They were tired of them. They had a few flaws that I covered up with the skull stickers. Uh, but I rescued them and turned them back into art because they had a lot of spirit. And here's another nice grouping. On the left is the other two paintings of those paintings I found in the dumpster that I added the skull stickers to. And those are just individual. And then the one in the center, I call Lemon Heads. And I found that painting at Goodwill. I bought that painting. 
And I looked at it for a long time and added the faces to it later. And the one on the right is called Blue Flame. And I painted that and made that cardboard thing separate for a separate painting, but it just fit right in there. Blue Flame. And Blue Flame is oil on stretch canvas. The one on the center is stretch canvas. And the two on the left are small canvas board. All right, these are both 16 by 20 canvas board. The one on the left is called Bugs. And I came home, this was done a while ago. I came home late one night and in a fit of inspiration, just put those bright red blotches on there and had no idea how I was gonna rescue it when I woke up in the morning. And I really like that. And then the one on the right is called the red zone. And that's oil on canvas board, the red zone. Okay, the two on the right are actually a pair. And it's called the promised land is the one in the center and Forbidden Fruit is the one on the right. The Promised Land and Forbidden Fruit. And those are acrylic on 16 by 20 canvas board. The one on the left is called Five Squares. And it's very simple, five squares. But I like the way that the two unconnected squares, you can't tell whether they're all the way in the front or all the way in the back. The painting on the left is called Dark Hill. And it's hard to tell whether you're looking up the hill into the sky or down the hill into the water. And the one in the center is called Stream of Consciousness or Twin Comets. And I painted that while I was listening to a Tony Robbins lecture, infomercial. And the one on the right is called Tapestry. And these are all framed on 16 by 20 canvas board. And I should mention, it was Peter Breza, B-R-E-Z-A, who was showing his assembly artwork out here in 2012 that inspired me to come out here. I met him, and we showed together for a while whenever we happened on the weekends. And now I'm back, and thank goodness, it was a lot of fun. I actually bought these at 99 cent store and they're great. But whatever. Um, I'll sell them as a set. Make me an offer. I like these two. The one on the left is called Basket Face. And I painted that with a foam brush. And the one on the right called After the Bandages, After the Bandages. And they're both acrylic on 16 by 20 canvas board. All right, we had a fun day. We met a lot of people and talked about art all day long. Sold one painting and that was good and hope to be out here again in the future not next weekend but look for us sunset boulevard art therapy i'm feeling a lot better today thanks tasha called the servants of the mental with her bipolar uncle uh, bipolar